Hey, I just want to do a really quick update video on what I had done yesterday and I'm doing more today. It's not a major thing, but it's really cool to me. Uh, I have been researching on the internet um, of things that grow wild in my yard that are usable, that have a purpose. Like you could eat them or you can make... Um, like teas out of them or salves or whatever. So one of the main things I, and I have an app on my phone. It's called Plant Net. Plant Net. And you can take a picture of of it and then it'll ask you like if, if, if you're looking for the leaf, what the purpose of the leaf is or the flower or the stem or whatever. Anyway, purple nettle is growing like crazy in my yard. Like crazy like days and days of purple nettle so and I've seen these things plenty of times and I knew that they were edible like you could eat them but I didn't know why like what the what the benefit of them was so I, I did some research I found out it's an astringent um, it's a diuretic and it's something else to have to do with sweating if you like sweat excessively it can help with that to tone it down it's an anti-inflammatory. Um, so, and also the leaves, I don't know if you all are familiar with plantain, but plantain and the leaves of purple nettle can be used as a paste on wounds on your, on your skin. Like if you're out and you get like on a hike and you get scratched um, or stung or something, you can take the leaves of purple nettle or plantain and I know this sounds weird or make a paste out of it either if you're like in a hurry and you need need it really quick you could actually use your saliva probably not recommended but or some water and just rub it together to make a paste and then smack it on that wound um, so that's another benefit of plantain or purple nettle so yesterday I picked a whole bunch put it in the oven on 200 for like an hour and a half and I set my timer for half an hour and I go check it to see how it's doing then set it for another half an hour and whatnot. Anyway, I got a full bag and it doesn't look like purple nettle in the bag. It is purple nettle though. It doesn't look like it but it is. Um, <laughs> I don't have any jars like I need to get some canning jars and put them in there. But it's purple nettle. I wrote the name of it and the date that I um, dehydrated it. So now I'm gonna start. I can start using that in a tea, and it'll help. Um, with anti, it's an anti-inflammatory. So if I drink that, it's going to help. Like I have shoulder problems, and obviously now a wrist problem, and hip, and I know I feel like I'm falling apart. But I'm, I'm hoping it'll help with that. Now, will it help the very first time I drink it? Probably not. It's probably one of those things you have to keep drinking every day for a few days or maybe a couple weeks to get built up in your system. And then you'll be able to see the notice, or notice it. So I'm super excited about that. I wanted to share with you that that's what I've been doing. And um, I'll show you what I have in the oven right now. Well, let me turn the light on. There they are. Getting all dehydrated. They've only been in there for about 15 minutes so far. See, they're still pretty soft. And I'm also doing dandelions. Just the flower part of it. This is Rize. Say hi, Rize. She has taken all of her blankets out of her kennel and drugged them in here. What are you doing, you goof? Rize. So, yeah, so I was excited and I wanted to share with you guys about that. And as with any herb or any flower or anything, before you go out and pick it and eat it, 
do your research and make sure that it's edible because there are some plants that have look-alike plants that look very similar and one of them's toxic and one of them's not. So you need to figure out the um, difference between the two before you go eating it or put it in your salad. And uh, also dandelions, the, the leaves, you can put those in salad, like mix it with your spinach leaves and all that and put it in your salad and it's super good for you. Um, the, I, I have some other flowers growing. I'm, I don't want to talk too much about everything I have. I wanted to stay focused on the purple nettle today. So that's what I'm doing. I'm staying focused on the purple nettle. Um, re, if you have it, it's very easy to identify. Very easy. And, um, as you'll see in the video, and there are two kinds or three kinds of nettle and they're all beneficial. Um, so, but I just have abundance of purple nettle in my yard I believe there's three there might be more I researched and I thought I saw three so anyway do your research if you're wanting to get into this and get that app it's called plant net plant net I think the icon is like a little leaves are sprouting out of the ground is what it looks like um, so that's been beneficial to, if you have another one that's better, if you get that one and you, but you have another one that's better than that, because this one you have to take the picture and match it with other people who have taken similar pictures and hope that they were right in labeling theirs, um, because it pulls up like you know five or six, maybe four um, options that it could be, and you have to pick which one best fits that picture, that thing that you're trying to identify. So if you have another one that's even better than that, let me know. Leave it in the comments and let me know if you have a better plant identifier or a flower identifier. I would love to know. And because of the dang virus going around, I hope y'all are staying away from each other and taking it serious. Um, wash your hands. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you soon. This is purple nettle. I have it. Like, I mean, it's literally covered. This whole section is covered. Like, look at it all over here. And my backyard looks the same way. Oh, there she is. Hi, Chick Chick. Hi, Chick Chick. You're a good girl. Yes. Yes, you're good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the purple nettle, what it looks like. Super easy to identify.